Today I'll show you how to get into Bada Konasan and how to safely stay in the pose so that you can improve. Okay, so Bada Konasan is one of those um, essential poses. It will help you improve in a lot of different standing poses and more advanced poses. So it's one of those foundational poses that you should work on at least every day for a few minutes. So here I am, I'm gonna use a wall to start out with and my legs are forward. So the way that I get into this pose is I completely close the joint of my knee. Okay, so I completely close this joint and then I can bring the leg down. So if what I need, you know, I don't want to do this and come down with the knee joint open, right? So I want to close it and come down. If it doesn't go down, that's fine. Just leave it there. So I'm going to bring this leg and if I can bring my feet together, and let's just say I'm here, okay? This is as far as this body will allow me to go. Okay, so the most important, um, I think, uh, direction for sitting in this pose would be the knees have to be at the level of the hips. So if my hips are here, right, my knees are obviously above my hip level. So I need to bring the, the knee below the hip. Right, so here's the knee and the hip. Knee needs to be below the hip, both of them. <laughs> and um, if I can't do that, then what I do is I come out of the pose carefully, all right, and I add a little bit of height. So let's see what happens with, with one block. So I add what, the height of one block. Okay, so I sit on the block, have my knees straight, and again, I'm gonna come into it the same way. So I close the knee joint as much as I can. I bring the heel as close as I can to my body, right? So I don't, if I have the heel here, the knee is open and I don't wanna do that to my knee, right? I wanna keep the knee safe. When this joint is closed, the knee is safe. Okay, so I bring my other knee nice and closed and let's just say I'm still here. So knees are still above the level of the hip. Okay, so <laughs> I add a little bit more height. So we add a little more height. Okay, now I'm sitting here and then depending on the flexibility of my feet, okay, so now I'm sitting, knees are below the, hip, the hips. Okay, so that's what I want. Now, the second and this is tied with first place, okay? If I'm gonna sit here for a long period of time, what I need to understand about the knee joint is that I'll do it on the side for you to see. Okay. <laughs> so if I'm sitting here, I, I need to bring my feet up like this. So this angle and the angle of my feet. So the higher I sit, the more torque I'm gonna get on my knee if I bring my heels to the floor, right? So this, versus this, the di this is the difference, right? There's a better, a better angle here, a better ratio. So this is going to really damage the knee and here is where I wanna be. So how do I do that? Well, I have to do a little bit of engineering <laughs> so I can put a slanted block and have my knees rested on that. I can roll a thick towel or I can roll a mat and put it underneath there so that I don't have my um, foot in a different plane than this angle of my leg. Okay, so I hope those two things, knees at the same or lower level than the hips, and then don't allow, if you are sitting on a height, always support the ankles with a height so that the angle of the feet are the same as this angle of the legs here. So you don't have this kind of a thing going on. All right, so let's see how that looks like. Okay, so I use the wall to support my back in the beginning. I have my slanted board that I'm using and you can use, um, you can use like a rolled up mat like this, you know, to support your ankles, a folded blanket. Okay, so here I put my feet and in the beginning it will be awkward, but find a place where you can have plus or minus this where the legs are out and the foot is uh, 
the ankles are supported, okay, the heels. Now, I do this and I can stay here for a little while and um, practice two, three minutes here. You know, there are things that you can do when the feet start hurting and the ankles, so you're gonna get to really work on the ankles, the feet, everything, and eventually you can sit here um, and enjoy the pose. And then slowly reduce the height so that you can eventually get to the floor. All right. And then I'll post the second video with other things that we can do with weights and with belts to help this pose also. Okay, hope that helps.